Morning. Morning. Or afternoon. Or evening. Whenever you're watching it. Um, right, well, it's breakfast, breakfast time for us. And you know when sometimes you think, I'm hungry, I fancy the full Monty. Well, as you can see behind us, that's where we are. So, we're going to give this a go. It's uh, in Globe Town. We, we rode through Bow to get here, so we're actually around the back of Victoria Park. So we're right near Bethnal Green. Bethnal. But, um, yeah, hungry? Yeah, I could do with some food. This is Luke, my son, for those of you that don't know. Yeah, fly up. Yeah, be rude not to. I always uh, like to make my own breakfast up because a lot of people they, they read a menu and they go oh yeah I'll go for that but I don't really want that or I want that extra just make it up however this menu because I'm I like mushrooms but I can take or leave them black pudding for me not really a fan and tomatoes not really a fan so I always order a breakfast which is why by the way I've never had a full English and in my 230 videos that I've done so far never have I gone for a full English or even ordered one because a full English is quintessential and it's got everything on it well I don't like most things well not most things some things but this one the burger brunch breakfast it's got Darren John written all over it it's got a burger with fried onions I mean a lot of you are saying a burger on a breakfast why not if you like it have it I went for the E2 uh, set um, but I've I don't like baked beans um, you know like Dad was saying not a bit of me so I don't order it that's the point uh, don't let that ruin my breakfast, so I've gone for a hash brown or see if they stick a couple on instead. But yeah, a bit of bubble. Happy days. Because you had, um, we went to the bike shed once and they had, they made their own beans. Yeah. You liked them, didn't you? Yeah, bike shed beans. Um, yeah, I just, I'm funny, I like ketchup, but I'm just not really a fan of the, the sauce in baked beans. But they were like a Mexican, really, like spiced and. Um, in a in a bit of a sauce, but that's that's right up my alley. But yeah, baked beans, not a bit of me. So loads of ketchup on the plate, so it's not dry. But that's it. Happy days. Happy days. Make the most of the weather so you can eat outside.
sausage, is it? Yeah. Loads of herbs in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a mountain of fried onions. Those sausages. The chips belong on breakfast. On my breakfast? Yes, they do. It's the way I see it. You go to America, you have pancakes for breakfast. Now, whoever said that pancakes were a breakfast food? Because we never have pancakes for breakfast. But because Americans have it, it's okay. So that's why I always say, have what you want. I mean, this is an absolute joy. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the best breakfasts I've ever had. Really? Honestly, that's unbelievable. That bubble. There you go, Luke just said. It's one of the best breakfasts he's ever had. We're not really anywhere that, you know, off the beaten track and off the beaten track again in terms of you've got Bethnal Green and significant places around. Then what's the most main road near here, off that, that was... And it was like... Each of them breakfast was tailored to us too, really. All yeah. I had to change was the beans, but two mash browns instead of the days, that's all I want. So that's what we always say, bacon is bacon in it. Bacon is actually the same anyway. You, can, you never get bacon and blows your way. And bacon and fried onions. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a better combo with a sausage and fried onions actually. Bacon, it just does work. I didn't, I didn't want it to end. Cup of tea, fry up. Great company. Cup of tea, <laughs> fry up, and great company. <laughs> that. I mean, in recent videos, my go-to food is sausage, egg, chips and beans. Proper comfort food. That has just exceeded it. Because let's be fair about it, it is sausage, egg, chips and beans. With a burger, fried onions. There was bacon under there, by the way. Bacon's bacon, but just, I mean, talk about set you up for the day. I mean, you always think, you know, breakfast is a breakfast. It can be, I think dinner's got more room to be either end of the spectrum, really. <clears throat>
but that is one of the best breakfasts I've ever had. The bubble was potentially the best bubble I've had. The hash browns, you know, they're proper. I'm glad I got them instead of my beans. I got two as well. <clears throat> I'm not going to go for every item, but yeah, proper sourdough. I mean, it was just. <laughs> I finished ages ago, but. <laughs> Oh, it's unreal, I don't know. How could a breakfast have you speechless? But that was so good. And uh, yeah, we had a bit of trouble getting here. Kept driving past it. So yeah, glad we glad we made it in the end. We did have trouble finding it and we nearly sacked it off because the sat nav was, was taking us all over the place. Because um, I know the area, but it's another back street. It's a back street calf. So here you go. What do I usually say about the back street calves? They're the best. This, I've got to put it in my top three. I have to. That's in it. London, yeah, That's absolutely. Safe, yeah, yeah. That was proper comfort food. And it was quality. The sausages, I don't think I've had a sausage with them herbs and spices in. It was like, oh, yeah. come on. Um, what can I say? It's really nice inside as well. Um, really nice. I'll try and show you, but there's people in there, so it's not always easy to do that. Maybe uh, I'll find a photo for you and uh, put that on. Right, well, as you heard earlier, what a place. So it's Globe Road, you're right near Bethnal Green, and I mean, even if you walked it, five minutes you'll be in Bethnal Green Road. Um, so that's how close you are. So it's another backstreet calf, which I love. Uh, the full Monty, wow. That's it, not, not much more that needs to be said really. No, that's not a couple of calves off, off the pedestal, that one. Um, yeah, what give it a go. I mean, you're looking at they're all thereabouts a tenner for each breakfast. They're all thereabouts. I mean, just call it a tenner. Um, yeah. We're about to get one over. <laughs> about to get one over, so let's leave it here. This is Darren, this is Luke. And we'll see you in the next one.